government has decided to relax the ongoing strict restrictions from July 15 to 22. 48 more died in coronavirus in Kulna Division. Death toll reached more than 150. Prime Minister announced five more stimulus package worth about 3,200 crore. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to My TV News. I'm Alavi Jahan waiting the newsroom today. You're watching headlines. Now the details. The government has decided to relax the ongoing strict restrictions on different matters including public movement and transports from July 15 to 22 on conditions ahead of Eid al-Adha. A notification in this regard has been issued by the Cabinet Division today. It called for a relaxation of the ongoing lockdown from midnight on July 14 to 8 am on July 23. It said the decision was taken along public transports and shopping malls to operate on a limited scale during this period on the occasion of Eid al-Adha to be celebrated on July 21. Public transports could operate with half of their seats vacant and shops could be allowed to reopen, maintaining the health safety guidelines. Trains will run at half capacity from July 15, complying with the health safety rules. Tickets will be available online from today. Launches will also be permitted to operate under certain conditions. Besides, temporary cattle markets will be allowed across the country on the occasion of Eid al-Adha. The notification further said that after the relaxation of the strict restrictions, the strict lockdown will be effective again from July 23 to August 5. Train service will also be resumed from Thursday with fully maintaining health guidelines and online ticket sales begin today. The government has relaxed the ongoing strict lockdown from July 15 and July 22 midnight on the occasion of Idil Adha. During this time, trains will run with half passengers of the capacity. Tickets will be sold online. 50% of total tickets will be sold. The decision on how many trains will run on which route will be taken on today. All tickets will have to be bought five days before the journey. Tickets of non-computerized stations will have to be brought from the concerned stations. Tickets brought from online will not be returned. Bangladesh reported 203 deaths from coronavirus in the last 24 hours till 8 a.m. on Thursday, climbing the toll to 16,842 across the country so far. Besides, 12,198 new cases were reported during the same period. With this, the total number of infections stood at 10,34,957 in the country. A press release of the Director General of Health Services revealed their development. Alongside a total of 7,646 COVID-19 patients made recoveries in the last 24 hours, bringing the total recoveries to 8,9167, the release said. Kulna Division reported 48 more coronavirus deaths in the last 24 hours. Some 1,588 new COVID-19 cases have been detected in the division over the same period. Kulna Health Department confirmed this information. According to the Office of Divisional Director of Health, 14 people died of coronavirus infections in Kulna districts, 10 in Jashur, 9 in Kushtia, 5 in Jinaida, 2 in Chuadanga, 1 in Bagirhat, 3 each in Meherpur and 1 in Shatkira. Earlier, Kulna Division reported a record 48 COVID-19 deaths on Monday, July 12 and 60 deaths today. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina announced five more stimulus packages worth about 3,200 crore to help low-income people hit hard by the ongoing restrictions imposed to check for the transmission of the coronavirus. Of the total amount, 450 crore will be given to 14,37,389 day laborers. 2,35,033 transport workers, 50,445 small business people and 1,603 shipping workers. 
some 17 lakh 24740 people will get taka 2500 each to assist the low income group of people living in urban areas the government will conduct a special 14 day open market sale from july 25 to august 7 across the country through 813 centers Ruling Army League has suspended all types of programs of the party, both political and organizational, due to the worsening COVID-19 situation. The party's General Secretary, Obadul Kader, made the announcement during a regular press briefing at his residence today morning. He said lockdown is not necessary if people wear masks and follow hygiene rules properly. And lockdown is meaningless if you show indifference and don't follow the rules. He urged all political parties, social and volunteer organizations to conduct campaigns to raise awareness against COVID-19. Kader also called upon all Army League's leaders and activists to continue to stand by the helpless and the destitute and help them amid the COVID-19 crisis and during the Eid al-Adha. We are about to the end the headlines once again. Government has decided to relax the ongoing strict restrictions from July 15 to 22. 48 more died in coronavirus in Kulna Division. Death toll raised more than 150. Prime Minister announced five more stimulus packages so oath about Taka 3,200 crore. At least 52 killed in a fire at the coronavirus isolation ward of a hospital in Iraq. And West Indies defeated Australia by six wickets to win the T20 series. Thanks for being with us. To join with My TV News online, visit it to slash My TV News. And to watch all our programs, visit it to slash My TV Bangla, Facebook slash My TV Bangla, and Twitter slash My TV Bangla. Our next bulletin will telecast in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Till then, stay connected, stay safe. Allah Hafiz.